In Lumos, spacing is managed with Flexbox and Gap. If we were to try the old way of adding margins to elements, we can run into issues if we ever have a conditional element inside our component. Let's say this heading is hidden in some instances. Now we have extra space between the eyebrow and the paragraph because these two margins aren't overlapping. And that experience is inconsistent depending on if the margins are in a display block or inside of flex. Inside of block, now these margins overlap, so we have a different experience. Also, if we were to add a new element to our component, that element doesn't automatically get the spacing of the component. With gap, if we ever decide to maybe change the direction across breakpoints, we don't have to worry about adding left or right margin, switching it to top and bottom. We can just adjust the direction freely. Now, this means we'll be creating lots of Flexbox layouts throughout our site, and each time we click to apply a new blue label, Webflow is adding a new line of code to our site. And this code is served on every page, even if that page doesn't have the hero layout on it. So this can increase our page load time by constantly clicking to apply a new style. Also, there's a lot we need to remember to apply. So these rows aren't set by default, but if we have these items aligned to bottom, then what we'll notice is when they wrap, this heading is no longer anchored to the bottom like the rest. So we need to make sure that our rows usually match the main alignment we're setting here. That way when it wraps, it stays where we want it. Now, instead of clicking to apply each of these styles, which is a slower process and also adds more lines to our code, what we can do instead is use classes that already exist in Lumos. Here on the X axis, we want to space these elements between. On the Y axis, we want to align them to the bottom. This is a horizontal flex, so the elements stack side by side, but with wrapping allowed. Now in Lumos, we have a V flex, which is a vertical flex and an H flex, which is a horizontal flex. The first word is going to be how the element aligns on the X axis. And the second word is how it aligns on the Y axis. And that's true of the vertical or horizontal direction. We can also just use the first letters. So here I want a horizontal flex that spaces between on X axis and aligns to bottom on Y axis. And now we have our class. And when we apply that, we get the same layout, but without adding any extra lines of code to our site. And if we want to just throw in a gap, we can do that as well. Now, let's say we have multiple of these hero layouts on different pages of our site, and later decide we want to change the design here. Well, what we can do is just rename the class. Let's change this to a V flex. And when we do, the direction is changed. On this, let's say we want it to align to center on X. And let's also say align to center on Y. And now notice how that change applied across both instances of this layout. In fact, if we change the space to medium, renaming that class, update it both instances here. Now, another thing we might want to do is enable wrapping because all of the flex classes are set to no wrap by default. Now, if we want to enable wrapping, we can click. That'll add one extra line to our code Notice how the row alignment matches the main alignment automatically though. Another option we can do is apply a wrap class. So we have an H flex wrap and a V flex wrap class, and this will maintain the horizontal direction with wrapping allowed by default. And then we can add our gap class on as well. And when we do that, these elements will just wrap. Now, if we ever run into an issue when renaming where Webflow says the class name already exists, we can just rename the class to something that does not exist and then add the word back in to change our alignment. If we need to override our alignment here on mobile, we can just click to apply these styles since there's no mobile specific classes. This will still use less code though than clicking to apply the styles on both desktop and mobile. And the changes we're making here aren't affecting every instance of this flex class. They're only affecting the class when it's stacked on top the hero layout. And we can still rename this class freely to change our desktop styles and the mobile styles will just be overridden like so. There's also styles for any of the flex children. So here on flex children, we can set them to don't shrink or grow. We can change their order and there's utilities we can do as well called shrink or no shrink. And also for order, we have order utilities. We can move this to the first position but that's a high level overview of the flex system in Lumos.